and I welcome you all uh, to this uh, session. Uh, can you all see my share screen? Yes, can you all see my okay uh, again welcome you all uh, today we are going to do um, an uh, reading lesson and uh, and also uh, it is an uh, it is an, an interesting lesson we are going to learn about poems And uh, do you, what is an idea about a poem? Uh, in a text box, so you can uh, give your answers to the text box, box also. What is a poem? In Sinhala also, uh, poem, what is a poem? You can give the meaning in Sinhala also. What's a poem? Okay. A poem. Shall we see what is a poem? I I hope you all can see the screen and you all, uh, I hope you all can read the sentences. A poem is a piece of writing that expresses emotions, experiences, and ideas, especially in short lines. Especially in short lines. Poem. Poem means writing express emotions. Emotions means the feelings. Feelings. Emotions mean the ape hanging. And experiences. What we experience in our lives. And ideas in our mind. ideas. Then we express we express these emotions, experiences, and ideas in a short lines. Is called a poem. For the lines, poems And uh, let's discuss what are the features of a poem. What is features? Features. The things are in a poem. Let's discuss features of a poem. First one, the poet. Who is the poet? Who is the poet? The person who yes, writes the poem. The person who writes a poem is called a poet. The person who writes a poem. Poem maker. Liana Kena. Then uh, we should know about the poet. Sometimes uh, we don't have the, the uh, name of a poet in a poem, in some poems. Some other poems will have a poet. So we call, uh, in that kind of poem, we call anonymous poem or uh, not poet, name is not given. So the second uh, feature, the narrator. Who is the narrator? The person who describes the poem. Yes, very good. The person who describes the poem means the poem means that they describe the incidents of the poem. The poem Sometimes the narrator may be the poet. Samahalata may narrator, poet may be the pulwang. Or sometimes the narrator may be uh, or an animal or an, uh, another pe person or a thing. Satek when the pulwang may narrator. And uh, third feature, line. The poem has, has lines. Poem lines. What is a line? A line is a group of words that grow, goes from the left to the right. Left to the right, very good. A line is a group of words. It's a group of words, not a sentence. Or not uh, a line is not always in the sentence. Some other sentence a kakman hai. 
a line is a group of word that goes from left to the right left igedala right ana kan thamai line ekak yanne and the, the most important part stanza what is stanza someone can read stanza a stanza is a group of lines that are separated by a space yes very good uh, the li line is a group of word so the collection of the group of lines are in a, in a uh, in a space we call it a stanza this stanza ka yani group of lines hatara line no not four uh, some lines collection of lines group of line lines ekkom ekatu ak diyata but uh, it is separated by a space uh, later will we discuss about more about the stanzas uh, space ekak tiyena me lines wala space ekak tiyena so with the space uh, is a group of line is called stanza and there are some features uh, which we want to and identify the poems let discuss uh, in details uh, the uh, the uh, another feature is a poem is a rhythm what is a rhythm the musical effect of the poem is called as rhythm yes very good a musical effect of the poem is called as rhythm so in a poem we call, we uh, uh, we uh, see the difference uh, from uh, and i say apita say kakin oi poem ekak oi wenas podi wenasak apita peenawa we we can see uh, in a poem we have a musical effect uh, in a lines or the stanzas and next one is rhyming words we get a rhythm from these rhyming words as well the words yeah. with yes read read will the you the words which have the same ending sound of the poem okay very good the word which have the same ending sound of the poem uh, the words with uh, the same ending the word two words uh, when we talk about the two words that the, uh, the words are ending uh, with the same sound we call as the rhyming words so uh, in a poem Uh, we put these rhyming words to get the musical effect to the poem okay next one and adjectives and describing words what are they a word a group of the words that are that describe a noun of the poem okay very good adjectives uh, or describing words are the word or the group of word uh, sometimes uh, a, a word can describe a noun or sometimes a group of words can describe a noun of the poem too uh, from these adjectives and describing words we get uh, the beauty to the poem we have uh, if we uh, talk about the beautiful poem we can see these adjectives and describing words like that next one repetition what is repetition one word or phrase is repeat, repeating several times several times very good one word or phrase sometimes one word is repeating or sometimes a, a phrase is repeating to Uh, get the uh, emphasize more emphasize uh, to the poem some uh, get some uh, base idea of the poem can okay, poem make a strong wind next one uh, similar words or synonyms we can use similar words and synonyms for the to the poem word what is the similar word the words which have the same meaning of the poem yes the word which have the same meanings api ga singala in singala also we use these uh, words in the poems samana vachana api daanam okay uh, these are the basic features of a poem to uh, get an idea about a poem you have you should know about these things and uh, let's uh, see a small poem and Uh, see whether these features are there in the poem. 
can you all see the screen yes teach okay and uh, uh, i will give one uh, two minutes uh, silently please read this poem She could even hear the deer and if she couldn't recall in the sun open on the first day of the day, then you know why the wind did pass. Me. Okay, uh, let's discuss. Uh, first of all, uh, I'll go, I'm going to read the poem and get a small idea before uh, we discuss the huh? feature poem. Poem maker features because discuss karana kaling api podi idea ek agda ma poem maker gan. The friendly cow, all red and white, I love with all my heart. She gives me cream with all her might to eat with apple tart. She wanders lying here and there, and yet she cannot stray. All in the pleasant open air, the pleasant light of the day. And drawn by all the winds that pass, and wet with all the showers. She walks amid the meadow grass and eats the meadow flowers. And uh, this is a uh, poem about a cow. Uh, the friendly cow, all red and white, I love with my heart. She, uh, it means she, uh, she or he loves very much this cow. She gives me cream. Cream means the milk, I think. Cream ki and milk ki adenawa. She gives me the to the narrator. Narrator to tamai den. She gives me the cream with all her might. Might means the the every power she has. Ya gawati na hamma ukko ma shakti en tamam ya me den milk to eat with apple tart. What's that? Apple tart. Do you heard the word about apple tart? Apple tart. It's a kind of desert. Like a desert take up. Uh, you seen in Europe, Europe countries. desert You use cream or the milk. So uh, she uh, she gives milk to eat apple tart. And the second part. She wanders. Wanders mean going here and there. Lying here and there. And yet she cannot stray. Stray means what is a stray? Do you have an idea about stray? Stray can you have an idea about In Singhala we call Dada uh, uh, yes, here go here and there without any any uh, destination. Agamananthi adhanne go here and there as as he wish. Stray. The daavatiyanu makilan stray dogs we call in a uh, in a dog without an owner. Aitikarek nati owner ke ne kuta aitikarek nati dog ke ne kuta pikiye na stray dogs like that. She cannot stray. Yaate yanne behay him. It means she has a an owner, owner She has owner. All in pleasant open air. The air is very pleasant. So she is uh, in a very pleasant open air. And the pleasant light of the day. So she is in a outside. They are in the light of the day. She is in, not in a uh, stable or uh, something 
in a house she is in out yeah in eli and blown by all the winds that pass blown means she uh, had to face all the winds yata mehama hulangatama me moona denda wenawa and wet with all the showers ekkama wet temenawa showers means what is the word the showers rain very good rain all the rains she has to wait yata temenda wenawa so as she is in outside yeah ili in she walks amid the meadow grass amid means the, among the grass sana kola wala she walks and eats the meadow flowers meadow means the grassy land meadow eka kiyanne mokadda the grassy land grassy land yes grassy land okay uh, let's discuss the features of this poem well we, uh, we talk earlier when api katha karu features thiyena wada kiyala balamu the first one is the name or, or theme of the poem so name what is the name or theme of the poem the cow the cow very good the, the cow. cow very good yes oh ma- tell me uh, who is the poet of the poem the name of the poet mm-hmm. it r r l stevenson stevenson very good r l stevenson so uh, uh, shall we talk about the line uh, the underline uh, underline line is in blue is called line api kiwane line ekak kiyanne mokadda kiyala then uh, uh, tell me how many lines are there in uh, whole poem how many lines lines kiya thiyana sampoorna poem ekak 12 very good 12 12 yes good and uh, this is uh, the stanza the uh, group of lines lines there uh, it is contain four lines lines satarak ekatu vela karana ekakata api kiyana stanza kiyala so tell me how many stanzas are there in the poem three three Yes, very good. Three, three, let's three sentences, and uh, let's discuss uh, the white and might. How do you, uh, do you have an idea about white and might? The words. They rhyme. Yes, very good. Rhyming words. Yes, very good. They write. Uh, they in uh, the end. Rhyming words. Uh, the same sound. They end the, the with the same sound. White and might. and tell me uh, some another there are so many rhyming words here tell me uh, another pa, another two they are there they are they are yeah very good uh, uh, red wet grass pass grass pass flowers 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 yes okay red wet showers spray day Spray day. Start. 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 Yes. Start. Yes. Yes. Flowers okay. and showers. Flowers and showers. Very good. Very good. All well done. And uh, shall we discuss uh, the words uh, and? What is the? What is it called? The feature. What feature? Yes. Very good. Very nice. It is called. repetition okay uh, wait a minute uh, and uh, next one the uh, words friendly pleasant what we call them present friendly cow yes very friendly cow pleasant yes pleasant light very good they are called adjectives and the last one is you call earlier the repetition okay you all know now you all know the features of a poem and how do we uh, read the poem api dan dannawa let's uh, move to the move to an activity and i think i hope you all can see the uh, poem given here uh, the name is queen map and there are uh, some uh, questions so uh, i'll give 
five minutes to complete this activity. Then uh, we, uh, if you have finished your activity, you can put your answers on the uh, in chat box. After five minutes, we can discuss the answers. Okay, time per charts now. If you want any help, I can help you. Pichana, do you want any help? Oh, you have you finished the activity? Do you want any help? You can ask me. Uh, what is this meaning of stance? Stance? Yeah. Which line? Uh, how many stands are there in the poem? A stanza. Stanzas. We discussed earlier stanzas means uh, the group of lines. Lines so like a twing up you had with stanzas. So uh, uh, the first part, first two, first four lines uh, are one stanza. Palaveni hatare ka stanza. So like that, these are called stanzas. And do if you have an, an unfamiliar word from the poem, you can ask uh, from me, or you can put the uh, word in chat box so I can explain them. Do you have an idea about wand? W A N B wand. What is the meaning of wand? Wand. Not the lantern. No, no. The wand. Uh, don't consider about this. Uh, the picture. It's uh, some kind. It gets some kind of help, want, but not. Uh, means, uh, want means I want to be an another bala bruto again. Ah, uh, speak with the magician has, which a magician, magician lagavati in singing hala. Yes, very good. In singing hala, we told. Wand. This is a wand. This is wand. W A N D wand. And uh, others are small. Flutters. What is the meaning of flutter? Flutter. Flutter. 
फ्लटर फ्लटर wings the movements with the with uh, the using wings is called flutter can we piya pat aragana karanne piya pat walin karanne flutters tatu gahana uh, yes very good and uh, the last one fountains what are fountains fountains ulpat yes and uh, some kind of water resources ulpat ulpat kiyan nat puluwang and uh, kind of river or oh, that that like that okay do you want uh, any more time to or oh, otherwise uh, we can discuss okay. the answers did yeah, i have one section yes tell me puta Did you find object and uh, describe following word? Uh, first one, uh, uh, fairy. First one, fairy. Fairy means uh, fairy tale. Fairy means who is fairy? Suranga Navi. Uh, who is a uh, yes, a fairy. Fairy. And uh, what is the word describe? Uh, that describe fairy. Fairy के नेका विस्तर कराने में तो ना तीन आवाज़ नहीं हैं। There's a word, so you have to find that. Don't go deep. तो यार बुरा टेंशन नहीं था ने पर just stay. Okay, I think uh, you have enough time. Shall we discuss the answers? Okay, teacher. Okay, okay teacher. Okay. Uh, so uh let's discuss name name the poet poet of the poem what is the name of the poet thomas hood okay very good thomas hood robin minay Thomas Hood. Then, how many stanzas are there in a poem? How many there stanzas? Are three, stanzas? Three, three stanzas. Three. Yes, very good. Three stanzas. There are three stanzas. And what is the time described in the poem? Night. At night. Ah, shall At we? Uh, yes, shall we go through the poem? Up in the poem, make it. Uh, the first. Uh, shall we uh, do the first part? First stanza. A little fairy comes at night. At night. Her eyes are uh, blue. Uh, her hair is brown, with silver spots uh, upon her wings, and from the moon she flutters down. With the silver spots. Ya agiti yena wings sala manada ti yenne. With silver spots. Spots means that some kind of dots. Dots tiye na. Ena ang yata tiye na mo na magay tatu de. Silver part a dot paling yeto tatu. Yes, very good. And from the moon, ya kohe na ni tatu gahan. Where does she flutters? From the moon. Hande. 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 Very good, na. Uh, so uh, what is the time? The night time. The night. The night time. The night time. Uh, next one. Who comes at that time? Who comes? A little, a little fairy. Very good. A little fairy. Find adjectives that describe the following words. Fairy. Fairy is the word. Little, little, very good. Little, 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 and hair. What is the color? Brown hair. Brown, very good. <coughs> Mm -hmm. 
brown. Next one, bond. Silver bond. Silver bond. Silver bond. Magic bond. Silver. Child. Good child. Good child. Good child. Ah, okay, before going to the uh, child, uh, let's uh, this, uh, move on to the second stanza. She has a little silver bond, and when a good child goes to bed, she waves her wand from right to left. Good, good child. Good child. She waves her wand. Who is that? Who is that? Me. Wave. Karani. Yagi wand. Dekha. Right to left. Yes, very good. And makes a circle round its head. Me. Its. Kya ne kaavu the kaagi the me child ke head dekhte. Muka the karani. Make a circle. Child is ah, ah, So the child, the word is child, the word described that the child is good. Make a karani hundala mainte vitarai. So uh, let's move on to the third part as well. Uh, and then it dreams of please pleasant thing. It kiyan metane? How do them mean the kinni? Child. child or child's head. Child hari age ulwa hari. Dreams of pleasant things, the beautiful things. Of fountains filled with fairy fish. Fountains filled with fairy fish, not the, the general, normal fish. Samani fish can ekne me yad peeni. Fairy fish. Uh, so very fish, lasanae, surangana, you know, and trees that bear delicious fruits. Tavamuna, they are painting trees. How kind, how kind of, uh, what kind of trees? The delicious fruits. Lasana, but asavat aharati and palaturuti and gastamaya to pain. And last one, and bow their branches at a wish. Own a wish checkakadi. If you want any wish, they bow their branches. We check up with the branches. Now bow karana. Okay. Uh, fish. Then uh, what is the describing word for fish? Fair. Fair. fish. Fair fish. Fair fish. Fair fish. Okay. Very good. Yes. Fair fish. And the last one, fruit. Delicious food. Delicious food. Delicious food. Yes, very Delicious. good. Delicious food. Delicious food. Okay. Uh, next one. Shall we find two rhyming couples? Two rhyming couples means uh, they are, we want to find two pairs. One is brown down and down. Brown down and down. Brown and down. Fish, 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 good. Bed, head, bed, head, bed, head. Fish, 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 and bed, head. I like that. Very good. And night, uh, night, night, uh, night, right, right. Uh, the other word, night. Uh, in this stand, uh, this kind of poem, uh, two and uh, second and the fourth lines are rhymed together. Hundred balan na putte. Hamas stanza ke ma second and fourth are rhymed together. Devani ekai, hatharvani ekai, thamma rhyme mila thi inni. Nee the? Okay. Yes, please. Wings and bed head. Bed, 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 head, head. Night, right? Things and things are rhyming words. In a, in a poem, the last word, uh, last words are rhymed together. Godakala to put a mother watch an anime apigane, our son watch another katama rhyme. It's a word, am I rhythmically, rhythm make up any poem make it. 
so get uh, got it anith eva rhyme there are so many words uh, that uh, that are rhyme together godak tiyena rhyme ene eva then in this kind of rhyme, rhyme poem second and the fourth lines are rhyme together ondata balan okay seven what is the message given by the poem there's a in a poem uh, we get we are given a message in singhala you can uh, say it in singhala voice ko singhala ing hari kiyanna puluwan what is the message mokadda me kiyanne be a good child very good very good well done be a good child be a good child if we if we be a good ch child we can think pleasant more. things ah uh, we can see pleasant things okay have you enjoyed the poem yes yes teacher okay uh, shall we move to another poem yes teacher okay teacher okay, wait teacher. a minute wait a minute okay Okay, next poem. The merry mice. In that poem, also I am going to give you uh, some five, seven minutes, seven minutes to complete the activity, and I let. teacher what is the meaning of frogius Teacher, so what, what is the meaning nibble have you an idea about the uh, word nibble a little bit not a little bit a nibble means uh, the way uh, the mouse and the squirrels are eating mouse are uh, have you seen how they eat egolo kana vidiya dakala thiyena the nibble in singhala word uh, the we call as uh, latigano the way he eat way they eat ya kana vidiya tama nibble oh nibble nibble means the is a verb ekak kriya padaya verb nibble and there is another word scamper what is scamper Scamper. Scamper. Running uh, with the fear. Running with the fear. Can buy in the one water key and up is scamper. Scamper.
Yes. Uh, what is the similar word is uh, happy, uh, unhappy name is? Similar meaning. You have to find the word uh, from the poems. Similar meaning. Samana machanaya. Happy. Satutu. There's a word here. In the poem, there's a word. Doesn't matter, you can't find. We are going to bear not a come up now. Doesn't matter. Okay, uh, let's move to the poem or you do you want more time? Teacher. Yes. Tell me, Puta. Yes, Puta, tell me. Yeah, I have one question. Okay, ask. Tamun Tamun and Balagati, you do again again. We have to take care of ourselves. I thought, look at you, myself. Can we look at me? We have a pit to put up with the end of any api, api, the hair balana makila. Neither a pit, the hair balana anime, api, api, and balag and don't hear any idea. I can't do it. We have to. Take care of ourselves or myself. Myself. Take care. Thank you. Okay. Uh, okay. okay uh, let's go through the poem. Yan the poem. Okay, teacher. Uh, okay. Uh, the first stanza. Shall you read the first stanza? I am going to read. Uh, the Mary Mice. Mary Mice. The Mary Mice in their holes. The, uh, and hide there all the day. But when the house is still at night, the rogues come out to play. Come out, come out, come out and play. The what is the kind of mice? Who are the mice? How the mice can be? Yeah. Oh, the plural yeah. word of my mouse. Mouse play, plural word. Mary. How the, how the, what happy. is the, uh, happy, Mary, happy. Oh, they are very happy and they are very, very happy. They know they don't have any, any uh, sadnesses or sorrows and hide they are all the day, hide the whole, what is the hole, what is the hole? Where are you? The In the hole, there are some holes, so they. They are, they are living in the halls and hide, hide. They are hanging line me. They are all the day. All the day means at the daytime. Not every day. Every day, day all the day time. means. All the day means uh, throughout the day. That was a puram. All the day. Yes. But when the house is still, what is still? No, there are no sounds. Very All... calm. Oh, it's a rat. There are no sounds. Still, still at night. The rogues come out and play. The quota cow then rogues means the mice. Come out and play. How they how do they play? Play. Apni balam mein kulo mona the karan nikela. They climb upon a pantry shelf. They climb. What na kine? They climb upon a pantry shelf and taste all they please. What is please here? Mukha the metane please kyan? Karunga. Not that please. Please means the same uh, word happy. Yala was satu tuena. They all please. Yala satu tu karna satu tuena. Okuma they will taste karna. The taste. Then taste all the day, all they please. They drink milk that's set for cream. Here, cream is uh, some kind of uh, yogurt or curd. 
cream එකක් කියන්නේ සාමාන්‍යයෙන් අර කිරි කල් තබා ගන්න එකක්. ඒතර මොකද මේගොල්ල කරන්නේ? They drink milk. ඒවා බොන්න. කියන්න පුතා. Tell me. Yes, tell me. Nanny. Okay, okay, doesn't matter. And uh, they drink the milk that's set for cream and nibble bread and cheese. Bread and cheese. But if the if they chance to hear the cat when they have when they no, the cat is coming, so their feast will soon be done. Feast? What is a feast? Do you, you, you have church? Uh, yes, you have church feast. So feast means uh, some kind of party. Party? Yes. Feast will be soon be done. Do, soon be done, Kiani? It's no more. You're right. Thus, they scamper off to hide themselves as fast as they can run. Okay. Now, then shall we discuss the answers? Uh, first one. First one. Yeah. Is the poet's name mentioned in the poem? Poetry is unknown. Poetry is unknown. Oh, unknown means uh, we don't know the name of the poem. So, is the name, is is ke lahuot prashne ya kapi, yes, no, wali uttra den no, ne, so. Is the poet's name mentioned in the poem? Yes or no? No. No. No, no, very good. Then, how many lines are there in the stanza? Four. How many there lines? There are four lines. Very good, four. Four lines. And when the mice come out to play? At night. At night. At night. Yeah, here also uh, the night uh, incident is there. Night at night. Name for actions they do. Actions means they are the, what they are doing at night. 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 Oh, taste or rasa windi nama? Taste. Drink the milk. Nibble. Koda lati gaana. Drink the milk. Very good. Drink. So many. Play. Yes, play. Come out and find two rhyming couples. First two. First one. They play. Ah, first in the first stanza. They are two. One rhyming. Please. Word. Please. Oh, yes. Next one. Next one. One done. Please. 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 Yes. Please. 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 Okay. Ah, okay. Next one. Mention the line which describes that their party is over. Mention the line. We have to uh, <laughs> drag out the line from the here. Poem make a line Mention the line which describe that their party is over. Their party is over. Their party is over. Their feast will be Their will will Soon be soon being done. Whole line we have to soon be done. Yes, whole line we have to copy. Okay. Some poor line Give a similar meaning for the word happy. Mary. Give the similar meaning. There are two similar meanings for happy in that poem. Happy can oh yes, Mary. Mary. 
Oh, Mary. we can say the please, the word please also as well. Mary and uh, please. So in your uh, textbooks, grade day textbook, there are so many poems. There are so many poems you can enjoy. Uh, as a suggestion, I, I have given... Uh, wait a minute. I As a suggestion, I have uh, uh, given uh, give you an uh, homework. Page on fifty eight. Homework. Do the activity in your writing book of today's session. Hope you all enjoy the session and uh, we will meet another session as uh, another session as like this. Okay, thank you all. Thank you all very much. Thank you. Thank you, teacher. Thank you. Thank you, teacher. God bless you. Thank you, teacher. God bless you and thank you, teacher. God bless. God bless. God bless, teacher. God bless, Puta. Bye. God bless you, teacher. <laughs> Thank you, DJ. No problem. This man. This man. Custom Murion Pokora. You are not Who is this man?